Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on exercise 7-2 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. And this exercise is about fractions, decimals, and percentages. The first question in this exercise says, write these fractions as percentages. As percentages. We have six parts or six fractions over here, which are A to F. And percentage means out of 100. Besides, when we have a fraction, when we have a fraction, this is the fraction bar. Any number that is above the fraction bar is the numerator, and any number that is below the fraction bar is the denominator. The denominator shows the whole of that something or the whole parts of that something but the numerator shows how much out of the whole is taken for example if we have four pieces in the ship if we have four pieces in the ship so one two three four four comes here and if we take or shed two of the four pieces it means two parts out of four equal parts are taken. So in this case, when we write the fraction, we write the whole parts under the fraction bar and the parts which are taken above the fraction bar. The same case is with these fractions that we have here. The first one, which is part A, is 40 hundreds. 40 hundreds. I say that decimal means out of 100 decimal means out of 100 so when we have 40 hundreds it means it shows 40 percent 40 percent in part b we have one out of 100 or 100 so in this case it shows one percent because out of 100 equal pieces only one of them is taken in part C, we have one tenth. One tenth shows 10%. How should we know it shows 10%? To find out, we can change the denominator to 100. How can we do? We can do by multiplying to a number that gives us 100 in the denominator. So if you multiply one tenth by 10, both the numerator and the denominator, one times 10 is 10 and 10 times 10 is 100. Now 10 hundreds means 10 out of 100 equal pieces or equal parts. So in this case, it shows 10%. In part D, we have 7 tenth. As we found out that 1 tenth is 10%, so in this case, 7 tenth is 70%. We can simply multiply by 10 and get that 70 out of 100 is there. In part E, we have 1 fourth, 1 fourth. For example, if we have a shape like this, and this shape is cut into four equal pieces, this whole shape is showing 100% of something, but when we cut it into four equal pieces, each of the pieces shows 25%, 25%. So now we have one fourth. One fourth means one out of the four equal pieces of the whole. What percentage is that? That is 25%. Or if you could not do this way, you can simply multiply the numerator and the denominator by a number that gives you 100 in the denominator of here. And that number in this case is 25. So we have to multiply 25 with both numerator and the denominator. 1 times 25 is 25. And 4 times 25 is 100. Now we can simply find out that 1 fourth is equal to 25%. In part F, we have 3 fifths. So to find out what percentage it shows, we have to multiply them with a number that gives us 100 in the denominator. Let me write it here. 3 fifth, if we multiply it by 20, we will get 100 in the denominator. So 3 times 2 is 
6, we write 0 here, and 5 times 2 is 10, 1, 0 we have, it will be 100. So 3 fifths is showing 60%. 60%. This is how we can differently find out or change the fraction into percentages. You can either use by drawing a shape, you can either use by multiplying or dividing a number into other numbers. Well, we are done with question one. Let's now go to question two. In question two, it says, what percentage of each diagram is shaded? What percentage is shaded? We have a small squares in each of diagrams and the number of those small squares is equal to 100 small squares. And each row and each column contains 10 small squares. Because three columns are shaded here, it shows 30% of the whole. This one shows 30% of the whole because we have 10, 10, and 10. So three tens are equal to 30. In part B, we have the same diagram which is having 100 small squares. And let's see how many of them are shaded. So here the rows are shaded. Let's count how many rows are shaded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 70 out of 100 small squares are shaded. So in this case, it shows 70%. It shows 70%. Well, in part C, again, we have the same diagram, which is having 100 small squares. And we will find out how many of those small squares out of 100 small squares are shaded. So the two rows which are shaded completely shows 20. But the other one, Let's count how many are shaded. One, two, three, four, and five. So this means 25% of this diagram is shaded. Well, we are done with question two. In question three, it says, which is the odd one out in these five percentages? Explain your answer. I will give my reason and you can give your own reason to find out which one is the odd one out. We can see that 11 is a prime number, 13 is a prime number, 17 is a prime number, 19 is a prime number, but 10 is a composite number. So in this case, we can see this one is the odd one out. Why? Because it is composite. This is a composite number. So this is one of the reasons that I can give. And the other reason that I can give is this one is the only even number among these percentages. All the other numbers are odd numbers, but 10 is an even number. You know what prime and composite numbers are, and you also know what even and odd numbers are. If you don't know, you can refer to my videos which are about prime and composite numbers, as well as about even and odd numbers. In question four, it says, write the percentage of each shape that is shaded. The percentage of each shape that is shaded. The first one, which is part A, is cut into two equal parts, and half of it is shaded. What percentage it shows? It shows 50%. Let me write it here. This shows 50% because if we cut something into halves, each part is showing 50%. In part B, we have a circle that is cut into four equal parts and out of four equal parts, one of them is shaded. I said that when we cut something into four equal parts, each part is showing 25%. So this one also shows 25% because 25 plus 25 is 50, plus 25 is 70, plus another 25 is 100. So the one which is shaded here is 25%. In part C, again, we have a circle that is cut or divided into four equal parts. But here we have three of them shaded. Three of them shaded. We know that each one which are shaded is showing 25%, 25%. So 
what can be the total percentage of the whole parts which are shaded 25 plus 25 is 50 50 plus 25 is 75 so in the part c we have 75 percent of the shape shaded well question four is also solved let me scroll up to go to question five in question five it says rajiv draws a pattern of triangles this is the pattern of triangles that rajiv has drawn he colored six triangles how many six triangles out of the number of the triangles which are given let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so out of the ten triangles that we have here he colors six of them let's see what we are asked to do in part a it says what fraction of the triangles does he color so let's color in place of rajiv this is the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one and sixth one out of 10 we color six of them what fraction we, what fraction is colored six tenth is colored so now what percentage is showing if we don't know what percentage although we know that it shows 60 percent of the whole triangles but if we don't know we can simply multiply this by 10 and the denominator also by 10 6 times 10 is 60 and 10 times 10 is 100 60 out of 100 is showing 60 percent in part b it says write this fraction as a percentage write this fraction as a percentage that i have already written 60 percent well we are done with question five in question six it says find the missing number find the missing number we have five over something that shows 50 percent the fraction that we have on the left the fraction that we have on the left is showing 50 percent so when it says 50 percent it means half of something what number is there that 5 is half of it when we take 5 of it it means we have taken 5 of that that number is 10 and 5 is half of 10 which is 50 percent of 10 well this question is also solved let me scroll up to go to question 7 in question 7 it says pablo has six cards he has 20 percent two fifth 0 0.4 0 0.2 four point four tenths and 40 percent he finds two sets of cards with equivalent values list the two sets here out of the six cards that he has two sets of them are having equivalent fractions or equivalent percentages so they are showing equivalent values to find out we can simply change them to percentage to fraction or to decimal so that we should know which parts or which cards are showing the same value so if we change them to percentage 20 percent is already in percentage two fifth two fifth is showing 40 percent it shows 40 percent and 0 0.4 which is 4 tenth is also 40 percent is also 40 percent so we can write here 40 percent 0 0.2 which is 2 tenth is 20 percent so we can write that this is also 20 percent and 4 tenth we already show it here it's also 40 percent and here 40 percent is already 40 percent so the first card from the left that we have is 20 percent so 20 percent we can write is equal to 0 0.2 0 0.2 so this is one of the sets of equivalent fraction and the other one is 2.5 2.5 is equal to 40 percent 
and it's equal to 0 0.4 these are the two sets of equivalent values equivalent values well we are done with question 7 let's scroll up to go to question 8 in question 8 it says copy and complete the table to show equivalent fractions decimals and percentages now you know how to change from fraction to percentage or to decimal and vice versa in the first row we have 0 0.5 0 0.5 is showing 5 tenth and 5 tenth is equal to 50 percent we know that when we have one decimal place after the decimal point that number is divided by 10 if that is divided by 10 so 5 here is divided by 10 5 divided by 10 shows 50 percent so as a fraction we can write 5 tenth and as a percentage we can write 50 percent the first row is solved in the second row we have 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent means 10 out of 100 10 out of 100 so 10 out of 100 is showing 0 0.1 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 comes here and if we simplify we cancel this 0 with the one here we will have 1 tenth as a fraction 1 tenth as a fraction see how simply we can find out or we can change fraction to decimal to percentage and also from percentage to decimal and to fraction now we have 9 tenth in the third row here 9 tenth shows 0 0.9 because when a number or a single digit number divided by 10 we will get a decimal with one decimal place and 9 out of 10 shows 90 percent so we are done with question 8 because it was quite easy and you know from the previous videos how to change fraction to decimal and percentage percentage to decimal and fraction and decimal to fraction and percentage in question 9 it says sophia makes a fraction using two number cards she says my fraction is equivalent to 50 percent one of the numbers is six one of the numbers is six what fractions could sophia make it says what fractions it means there are more than one fraction that we can make if one of the numbers is six we can either put it in the numerator place or the denominator place if we put for example if you put it in the denominator place the numerator should be a number that gives us an equivalent percentage of 50 percent what number to put here or what number shows half of six that gives us 50 percent that number is three three sixth is equivalent to 50 percent in the other fraction if we put six in the numerator place what number to have here that should be equivalent to 50 percent if we know the number half of which is six we can simply write it down so that number is 12. 6 12 is equivalent to 50 percent so the two fractions that we could make is 3 6 or 6 12 that's all about exercise 7-2 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. I hope it helps you learn how to work on fractions, decimals, and percentages, and also how to find equivalent fractions, equivalent decimals, and equivalent percentages to change them from one to another. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates and your students if you're a teacher. Have a nice time and thank you so much.